Hello student and welcome to Computer Applications 2, Lesson 3. In today's lesson, we are going to cover a number of items. One is to understand the interface of the QuickBooks, then managing the customer details in QuickBooks, and creating new customers in QuickBooks. So let's start. Student will start from where we left last time on the home page where we said that we have various uh, centers for our business. We said we have vendors center, the customer center, the employees center, which is optional and it's usually activated if you had chosen that you want to work with employees, you can be able to prepare the payroll. Then we have the company center and the banking center. But uh, apart from the home page. There are other various sections of the QuickBooks that can be able to provide more information for your business. And one of them is by going to the insights. So on the insights, you'll be able to find more information about your business in terms of insights. You can be able to view your uh, business group. You can also be able to view your top customers by sales and you can use different views to do that. You can also be able to view the year comparison, that is the preview of uh, the income comparison per year. And also you can be able to view the profit and loss and you can also be able to use the different views that are provided. Much of the information here is not available for now because we have not carried out uh, some transactions in our business. But as we add more transactions in the business, you'll find that this information will become more useful as we continue. Also notice here that uh, we have a tab where you can be able to upload your company logo. That is, if you have a company logo and you want it to appear in your business, then you can be able to upload it from here. Back to the home page, I would also like you to understand the various sections where you can be able to access the information your business for example here on the shortcuts you can be able to uh, access the various sections of your business see here that you can be able to access the customers uh, vendors and employees just like you can be able to do that using the centers then on this tab you can be able to do more with quickbooks for example you can use quickbooks to promote your business then on the menu bar, we had uh, visited some of the options here. Edit, we said you can uh, be able to edit the company preferences from here. Then on a company, uh, it's another way of accessing the company information. For example, if you go to my company, you'll be able to access the company information this information uh, we provided when we are creating the company file so if you want to edit the information that is here you click on edit and then you can be able to edit any of the information regarding your company see here that uh, the information is um, categorized into tabs so any information that you can be able to access here from the tabs it is editable for example, on the RICO information, if you want to change that, you can be able to change the RICO information about your business and also many other information. If you had omitted to turn on the payroll, you can now come and turn the payroll from here so that it will be active for, for your employees. So we'll exit from here. And back to the menu, you can see we also have the access for the customer from this point. We can also access the vendors, the same as for employees and banking, just the way we could have done from the home page. But uh, one of the centers that we have not discussed yet is the center for reports. In QuickBooks, all the reports are organized in one place, so you'll not miss any report. And I think this is one of the best way of organizing reports so that you cannot be able to miss any reports that you want to prepare. So we'll go back to the home page and we are going to see how we can be able to set up the customers for our business, the options that we have for the customers and how we can be able to edit the customer information.
welcome back we are now going to see how we can be able to create new customers for our business how we can be able to view the existing customers and what we can be able to do with the customers information in our business checking on the customer center you can be able to see that we can be able to execute various transactions at the customer center for example we can be able to create sales orders we can be able to create invoices here we can be able to receive payments from our customers or we can be able to issue refunds and credits to our customers but we cannot be able to do that if we do not have customers in our business so we have first to create customers and then we can be able to carry out these transactions to create new customers or to view the existing customers you can be able to access customers from here or you can go to the menu and then select customers or you can go to the shortcuts and you can be able to access the customers from there for now let us access customers from this option once the customer center has opened you will be able to view the various sections of the center which can be able to help you manage the customer and here we are going to go through them so that you can be able to understand them in a better way on this section this is where the customers are listed all your customers will be listed here and you can be able actually to manage the customers from this tab for example if you click a customer like uh, james you can see all the information that is written to James, information relating to payment settings, uh, taxes, additional information and all that. And you can see from the information of James as a customer, the current balance is 12,000. That means there is a pending invoice or invoices that amounts to this amount. And this area will help you to create customers and also manage customers information because you can come here and edit now to create a new customer you use this tab and then you click on new customer but you'll come to uh, that option later and here you can also be able to add jobs for customers on this tab this is where you can be able to carry out some transactions with your customers for example you can be able to create an invoice but uh, remember there is a particular section for creating invoices so you won't be creating invoices from here but uh, you're using the particular section for creating invoices from this option of print you can be able to print customers information for example if you want to print customer and job list or the customer and transactions you can be able to print that from this option then the other option here is to link quickbooks and excel you could have stored some information about the customers or transactions in an excel so you can be able to import that information to quickbooks or you can also be able to export some information from quickbooks back to excel then on microsoft word you can use some of the features in microsoft word for example to prepare customer letters using a mail merge so you can also be able to link microsoft word with quickbooks here on a, on an income tracker you can use this feature to track what is happening in your business for example you can be able to track orders or expenses or invoices or bills that are due so this is another feature to help you actually see what is happening in your business then back to the customer there are some tabs here that uh, helps you to organize the customer's information for example here you can be able to see the transactions that you have done with uh, a certain customer and uh, these tabs also work the same as here the transactions if you click here you'll see the same transactions that you can be able to execute with your customers and they will be listed on this side and you can be able actually to filter those transactions based on what you want to look for for example you can be able to filter all the invoices if you have clicked invoices you can be able to filter all the invoices you can be able to filter by the open invoices or you can be able to filter by overdue invoices if you click another transaction here the tab will change 
to read it to what you have selected here and uh, you can be able now to filter with diff a different filter and here you can be able also to filter those transactions with different periods of the financial year on the tab for contacts this is where you will find the information about the contact person that represent the customer and uh, from this option you can be able to add new information or edit or even delete then on to do's here you will find the information about the tasks that you had planned to execute with a customer and you can also be able to organize that using the tabs that are provided you can add new information and all that or you can be able to run that the information that is here as a report then on notes you could have uh, had a meeting with a customer and you have made some notes so you can come and store those notes here it will be a good way of following the customer and it will be a nice way of organizing the customer's information notice that you can also add more information here or you can be able to edit then on emails this is where you list all the communications with a particular customer and you can be able also to manage that information from this tab there is another option that is provided in quickbooks to help you organize customers information by attaching documents so this feature will help you to attach customers documents you could have prepared some documents or you could have a meeting with a customer and you want to organize that into customers information so you can attach those documents here and they will be stored together with the customers information notice here that you can also be able to use the scanner or you can use the document center to prepare those documents and organize them into customers information and this button helps you to edit customers information so when you click there you'll be taken to a form that contains customers information notice that customers information is organized into tabs so most of the information here you can be able to edit but we are coming here when you are creating a new customer and you'll be able to understand what information is captured in every tabs here welcome back we are now going to see how we can be able to capture new customers information into our business and to do that you go to new customer and job and then you click on new customer and you will be presented with a new form a blank form that will be used to capture the customers information and it will help you to organize the customers information so because you might take a lot of time filling a live form now we are going to exit from here and then we'll pick one of the customers and then we'll be able to see the information that has been filled and to understand how the customer's information is organized so back to the customer center we can pick a customer like james and you can see from the organization of the information for customer james it starts with a name and then the opening balance this is a, a total amount of money that uh, james owes the business from various invoices it could be one invoice or it could be two or many invoices then the address information the tab for address information you will be able to capture the company for james or for the particular customer you will also be able to fill the full name starting with the first name and last name you can also be able to capture the middle initials then the job title for the customer for example here it's given a sales manager and then the main phone number here you can get a list and then you can be able to select what you want to capture for this field and many other fields they will present you a field like this one and then you can be able to select which label you want to represent the field with then here what has been captured here is the main email although you could have captured any other fields that is provided so the email is provided and uh, the telephone number the website for the business and uh, also um, the social media account for the business here 
you will be able to capture the address where the invoices or bills will be sent to but if the address is different for where you ship the item if you are selling the products then you can change that uh, address and give a different one then once you have done that then you can continue to the next tab on uh, payment settings you can be able to capture different information uh, for your customer starting with the account number uh, different businesses could provide uh, different account numbers for payment to their customer and you can see here like uh, the customer James uh, number is different and it could be different for another customer then on the uh, payment terms it will depend on what you have agreed with your customers you can uh, be able to agree that maybe a customer will be paying after 21 days or a customer will be paying after 14 days like in our case here you can see uh, James is supposed to pay invoices within 14 days then on a preferred method of a delivery the one chosen here is email and uh, you can be able to pull the list and choose any other method then uh, on payment method here is where you uh, capture the preferred method based on uh, what the customer would like for example for our customer James he has uh, chosen that uh, he would like to be paying using the MasterCard but uh, you can choose any other method here for different customers others might uh, prefer to pay by cash others by check and uh, you can see that uh, if the method of payment is not listed here you can also be able to use the add new option to add that method and here you can be able to see the various methods that are provided for in quickbooks that is uh, online payments then on the uh, sales tax settings this is where you can be able to capture the tax code for sales for example if there are some sales that attract a uh, tax you can be able to capture them from here if there are some sales that are exempted from tax you can also be able to uh, uh, capture those codes here including the tax item and all that then additional information for your customer you can be able to capture your customers based on type for example a customer could be commercial others could be residential or wholesale or retail it will depend on how you want to categorize your customers based on types and uh, if the type is not here see that you can still use the option for add new to add the type that you want here then uh, some customers have a, a, a representative you can be able to capture the customer's representative uh, information from this tab and uh, if the information here is uh, not provided you can still add new from the add new option then on a uh, job information some uh, customers that you deal with might be um, related to a particular type of uh, business for example if you're in construction you might have a customer who only is interested in a particular type of job and you can be able to capture that job description here so once you are done you click ok and that particular customer's information will be stored in your business but remember we had discussed earlier in the customer center and the options that we have to organize your customers uh, information for example you can be able to use this button to edit the customer's information or you can be able to double click um, the a particular customer and you can be able to edit that information or uh, add more information about the customer we have come to the end of the lesson and I hope you have learned a lot how to use the customer center. Join me next time when you are going to discuss about the vendor center. See you then.